Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise in the Lord. Oh, we, we. Oh, we praise him, my God. Oh, we praise in the Lord with my heart and soul. Praise in the Lord with all my heart. Oh, we. Hallelujah, my God is you. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. He's so good to me. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good, so good to me. Praise him, my God, oh, way. Praise him, my God, oh, way. Praise him, my God, with my heart and soul. Praise in the Lord with all my heart, oh, we. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. He's so good to me. Good morning, everybody. This is the second Sunday in the half of the year, July. I praise the Most High God who has given us the grace to join again for my viewers, for those who love the Lord with me, for those who are doing his will, I say, may God be our strength in the name of Jesus. Continually, may we be able to gather together by his grace and love in the name of Jesus. May he unite us together more and more in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Sunday, I welcome you whether you are coming from east or west, from north or south, from the continent of Asia, Africa, and Europe, authentic, from the continent of uh, 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 North and South America. Hallelujah. If I miss a continent, bear with me. I just send my greetings to the continent of Africa, Asia, Australia, continent of Europe, Continent of Authentico, continent of North and South America, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus and I belong to my God. I am glad I belong to Jesus and I belong to Jesus and I belong to my God. Are you glad you belong to Jesus? You belong to Jesus and you belong to your God. I am glad I belong to Jesus and I belong to Jesus and I belong to my God. I say, pass me not then to see if you hear my humble cry. While on earth as thou art God only, do not pass me by then to Savior, Savior, Savior. Yeah, my humble cry. While on Lord as thou art gone, do not pass me by. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Yeah, my humble cry. While on no does thou art gone, do not pass me by, gentle Savior, 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 yeah, my humble cry. While on no does thou art gone, 
do not pass me my by hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, Lord, I love you, Lord, Lord, I love you, Lord, and I love you, Lord, Lord, I love you, Lord, and I love you, Lord, oh, Lord, I love you, Lord, Lord, I love you, Lord, Abba, Father, oh, Abba Father, Abba Father, oh Abba Father, Abba Father, oh Abba Father, Abba Father. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, hallelujah, praising God for saving me, he saved my soul when I think. The goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My very soul shall shout, Hallelujah! Praising God for saving me. He saved my soul when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all he has done in my life, my very soul shall shout, hallelujah, praising God for saving me. He can never, never fail, Jesus can never, never fail. He can never, never fail, Jesus the same forever. He can never, never fail. Redeemer can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus is him forever. Woman are all man is Jesus. Hallelujah. The woman are all man is Jesus. Hallelujah. <coughs> yeah, he made the lame to walk. Hallelujah. And he made the blind to see, hallelujah, singing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, singing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Man. I will exalt you, Lord. Hallelujah. For you have lifted me above my enemy, and your banner over me is sure. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. You have lifted me above my enemy, and your banner over me is Lord. Jehovah, we thank you this morning. We bless you. Bless the Redeemer, you are highly exalted. The King of kings, the Lord of Lords, we worship you. Hosanna, Hosanna, 
Oza na inde ha anye. Oza na. Oza na. Oza na inde ha anye. Lord, we lift up your name. We might have full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord, my God. O oh, Sana in the high, O oh, Sana, O oh, Sana. Ozana in the Haye Ozana 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 in the Haye Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord, my God. O Zana in the high. Father, we thank you. Unfailing Jehovah, you are, you are highly exalted this morning. We give you praise, we give you honor. Adoration to you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the reason why we're gathered this morning. You are the only reason for the breath of life in me, for the for your love over the world. Not by power, not by might, by your Holy Spirit you have ordained today for your children. Father, be the center of this gathering from east, from west, from north and south, and let us be blessed. Let us be blessed, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being God. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' excellent name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I said, God, you've been so good. God, you are kind. I say, God, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. I say, Lord, you've been so good. You've been so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are excellent. My God, you are wonderful. I say, excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are excellent. My God, you are wonderful. I say, you are worthy, O oh Lord. I say you are worthy, O oh Lord. I say you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy to be prayed. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. El Shaddai, I say you are worthy, Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. What day to be prayed? I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. Eh, shall I die? I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. I say what day to be prayed. I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, shall I Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From east, from north, from south, from west. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you praise the Lord wherever you are? You are in your kitchen. You are in the bathroom. 
It doesn't matter where you are. The eyes of God is sees all over the world and is with us right now in the name of Jesus. Are you at work? Do you have a meaning? Bring your app. Open your Bible, King James, whichever, NIV, whichever. May the Lord hear us this morning and let there be a new testimony in every home where they call him by his name and they serve no other God and they have no other power and they do not use the power in them unwisely like Balaam did. Balaam was given the authority. Hear me this morning. Balaam, the prophet, he was given authority. The authority is to cause people and it shall be so. Hallelujah. <laughs> the authority to bless people and it shall be so. And that is why the king of this world sought after him to come and cause the people that the Lord has not cost. Ah, are you using the power in you unwisely? Are you using the grace of God in your life unwisely? How many people have you hurt with the grace of God, the spirit, the power, the authority the Lord has bestowed upon your soul to use for his kingdom? How are you doing? Come on, let's go. Hmm. Because you will be your own self testimony on that faithful day. How many people you have destroyed with the power in you? And they come to you, they cry to you for help. You oppress them the more and you destroy them. Ah, if you arrow, you will return back to sender. This one, in the name of Jesus. Iron, sharpened iron. Ah, the same sword. Hello? The king, Assyria, was using to destroy children of the living, living God. The same sword by his architect. The power of evil in him, it fell by the same sword. Ah, who are you in the Lord? Be careful, oh, so you will not be the architect of your own destruction. In the name of Jesus, come with me quickly to the book of John. John chapter 18. It doesn't matter what you have. Up, wherever you can read the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, hallelujah, 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 oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Come with me quickly to the book of John, chapter 18. Even though we're going to verse 23. We we'll start from 20 quickly. Jesus answered him and spake. He be 19. A high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. <laughs> Listen, oh, you are going to go through tribulations and trials if truly you are a Christian. Like somebody told me, I went for a, a, a revival in East London. I went in a bread and breakfast, and the woman told me, you are crazy. I said, why? The, the Lord told me to go and empty my purse for this same woman. He called me crazy. <laughs> and he said, what are you doing with all this? You are highly educated. Is it about education? I emptied my last penny. In, 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 uh, I gave it to her completely. I gave her every penny in me as directed by God. The Lord said, Go there, empty your purse for that woman. No, no, he, he just lost his son. No, no, it things were really bad and it was really down. I emptied my purse, gave her European pounds completely. Over a thousand pounds. Where will I get the money? <laughs> but God is good. The money I gave him was over a, a thousand. Hmm? Amen. <laughs> and then, call me crazy. As educated as you are, what are you doing with gospel preaching? I said, what? He said, never mind me. I think the fairy, they're messing up my brain this morning. 
I'm sorry for what I did to you. There must be a reason. Here is the person. The Lord said, go empty your box. And he knows I have. God knows I have. <laughs> Amen. This morning, listen carefully to where we're going. And they were questioning Jesus. <laughs> if they didn't question you yet, and you call yourself a pastor, a reverend, a bishop, and they don't call you names, you are not yet a Christian. Hear me right. They question Jesus Christ about his doctrine and his disciples, his followers. Jesus answered him and spoke openly to the world, to the whole world. Hear me this morning. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret, have I said nothing? Did I say anything strange? I was just doing it as the Lord has laid in my heart. In 21, why ask thou me? Why are you asking me this kind of a question about my doctrine? If I'm a Christian, if I'm a born again, who are you in the Lord? If I have authority married to preach the gospel, <laughs> and a woman for that matter. And I said nothing. And I ever taught in the synagogue. I said nothing strange. I said that the Lord led him. Why ask thou me? Ask them which had me. What have I said unto them? Behold, they know what I said. They're trying to find fault. If you're a Christian, bear in mind, don't give up. They will try to find fault why you don't deserve a position, why you don't deserve some kind of benefit, why you don't deserve to be where you are, why you don't even deserve to be a living soul. <laughs> and 22. And when he said thus, Spoken, one of the officers, which too by struck Jesus. What is that for? With the palm of his hand, saying, Answer thou the high priest. So, answer what you were asked. Who do you think you are? Amen. The king of kings, the lord of lords. He is. Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, be a witness of the evil. Let me know where I went wrong. I'm ready to correct it. But if well, why do you have to strike? How do you strike people? How do you strike them? Your word of mouth? The Bible called this tongue a double-edged sword. And it can kill. It can destroy. It can bless. But what are you using? Again, this is where we're going. What are you using the authority in you to do? Examine yourself. And likewise from here, I am examining myself this morning. What am I using the power in me to do? Not like, not like, uh, 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 what will I call it? Balaam the prophet. Are you one of them? They cry to you. They ask you. <laughs> oh Lord, they ask you, Sir, Daddy, can you pray with me? Mommy, can you go on with me in prayers? I just need somebody to support me in prayers. And you send an evil arrow. Ha! And you know the people are weak. You kill them spiritually and physically because that authority in you. You want to test out who you can kill to steal and destroy. Your sin will catch up with you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Ah! Your power will not be sufficient to rescue you. Except God is no longer God. If God is God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your evil, he will trace your, he will trace your steps and he will return back to you. In the same measure, the Bible says, be careful so it won't be in multiple of your actions. And so shall it be for you if you do evil. From today, Jehovah, and then you touch. <laughs> you know, there are many in the world that the Lord, they may not be prophets, they may not be pastors, they may not be evangelists. As he has spoken in Galatians 6, 17, that I be 
the mark of salvation and the blood of Jesus Christ in my body and therefore let no man let no power no principalities no generational causes from today touch me hey and you touch the apple of god's eye where are you going to run to when the lord will catch up with you you tell me i know you're watching me right now yes ah you've done the unthinkable Ask God to help you. It's a God of chances. He gives chances. Destruct, destruct Jesus. Worse than an insult. What is this about? Hallelujah. Jesus is still reigning anyways. Come with me to the book of Revelation 1.5. In the book of Revelation, let me start from four. John to the seven judges, which are in Asia. You are welcome, people from Asia. Reverend Revistin, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Grace be unto you, not just to Asia, <laughs> to Africa, to Australia, to Authentica. Amen to North and South of America and to Europe. Amen. It says, grace be unto you, all of us. Amen. And peace in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And which is to come, and from the seven spirit which are before his throne. Hallelujah. And five, where we are going. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, they struck him. A faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead of the earth unto him look at this all unto him that loved us and watch us from our sins in his own blood hallelujah 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah I praise you this morning, Father. I praise you. And I praise you. Oh, Lord. I praise you. And I praise you. Oh, Lord. In my life. I say what you are doing one more time. I lay my hands in praise of your name. And I lay my hands in praise of your, your name. Father, I lay my hands in praise of you this morning. Destruct Jesus, the one unto him that loves us. He loves us unconditionally. He watches us from our sins, all this terrible behavior. He is in charge, taking care of us, so we're not going to be a product of air fire. He watches us of our sins in his own blood. Destruct him. They question him of his authority. And you, living, they're living. Shall praise you, Lord. Say, they living. Shall praise you, Lord. I say, they living. Shall praise you, Lord. As we are doing to the Jesus name. You are living. I want to lay Neo, my Neo, hallelujah. Joy, I lay Neo, my Neo. E mi alaye mi o mayo as we are doing it today Jesus name Amen Amen Let's see Matthew 89 destroy Jesus the one who laid down his life for his friends destroy him We're going in the book of Matthew 89, let's see. 
one, two, eight, and nine. Let's start from verse eight. Wherefore, in the hand of thy foot offended, if therefore, therefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off. Eh? Listen, oh, I'm not done, oh. Don't go cut anything yet. <laughs> cut them off and cast them from there, from thee. If it is better for thee to enter into the into the hilt or mind, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Again, another one, verse nine, where we're going. And if then I <laughs> offend thee, plug it out. Not yet, oh. listen, this is a parable. Don't go dismantle your body. Listen, and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to cast into hellfire. It's a parable. What are we talking about in essence? Here we go. The Lord is saying, look at all these things they did to Jesus. They question his authority. They question his doctrine. They question his followers. And what he was preaching, he didn't say nothing out of ordinary. It is because people hate the truth. I'm sorry. We all hate truth. Whoever speaks the truth, we just hate. We turn against them. We flip around them. We make enemy of them. Exactly. And they struck him, the one with his blood to translate you unto redemption, into eternal life where you die of this wicked world and the wicked behavior of man. <laughs> ah, we need to do better. I need to do better. May the Lord help me. It's your choice to decide today what better behavior you need to demonstrate among the living. The truth is bitter. I know some people who hate me who, for all this. Uh, da, 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 da. There is nothing she cannot say. And she said she's preaching. The truth, face it or leave it alone. It's not a by must that you should come listening to me if you can face the truth. Ha! Huh? The truth is always bitter. Take it or leave it and don't come. Because you cannot stop me from the work of my father who has sent me. He may look at what is he saying. Are you the new Christ? Who is the father who sent you? How do you know? You come taste of the Lord and know that it is, he is great and he is good. He will minister to your soul and you will know. Among the girls and among the rocks, he alone, First Corinthians 8, 4, 5, 6. There is no dagger. From east to west, there is no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. No other God from east to west. There is no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 89. It says, if your eyes will cause you to sin, if it will cause you lost, find another route. Find something better to use your eyes to watch. That is not the interpretation. Don't go dismantle your body. If this my eyes will behold something that will cause me to lost after this world, after the things that the Lord has commanded, that I shouldn't do. It's a, it's a time to make a U-turn for me to find something better to do. If my feet were to where the Lord didn't want me to go. And I went and I saw, oh my God, may I never miss the road. May I never miss my way. I acknowledge Jim as I spoken in Proverbs 3, 6. I acknowledge God in my life this morning. May I never miss my path. May he direct my path. Wisely shall I live my life and my generations to come. In the name of Jesus, amen. If 
your mouth will cause you to sin. Curtail it. Tame yourself. Only speak things that are acceptable to God. Not blasphemy. Asking me who is my God? Is the God, the creator of heaven and earth. Believe it or not. You are not one. I am not a creator. I am a creation of God. Likewise, we all are. Let's use this temple. He created us on his image. He said, come, let us make man after our own image. Genesis 1, 27. And the image of, of God, he created man. So we need to use this body wisely. It cannot be holy as God. So God created man in his own image. Genesis 1, 27. Use. You are as beautiful as your maker. I, I am so loving, beautifully made, like my God who created me. Not because of this world, though. not because of thunder or rock or rain or no, the real genuine God. First Corinthians 8, start from the beginning. Not by the blood of a goat or rat, I did not exist by distance. Not by ceremonial foods, no. Hmm, no by power of this world. Oh. Unexplainable, unquestionable power. Hey, unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are my God. Unquestionable God, unquestionable God, unquestionable God, you are the Lord. Unimaginable, you are the Lord. <laughs> Unimaginable, you are the Lord. Unimaginable God. Unimaginable God. Unimaginable God, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. It is God. It says it, it does it. It's not a man. What did he say? If your eyes will cause you to sin, Plug it out. What is the meaning? Again, I beseech you, don't dismantle yourself. Don't destroy yourself. Walk away from things that your eyes will see and cause you have fire. Will cause you to sin. Like lust, you can see a man. Hey, you shaking like a leaf. Ooh, ooh, he's so handsome. Ooh. One man, one woman. Refrain from idolatry. That man could be another woman's husband. Why are you lusting after somebody else's husband? Hmm? Why are they lost? Move away from lust. Find something better to use your eyes to do so it will not cause you to sin no more. Pick up the Bible. Start from Genesis chapter 1. Read it. You may not understand right at that moment. But to God be the glory. With time, you will get there. Amen. We will all get there. Amen. Do not let your eyes cause you your salvation. Your feet walking in the midst of the evil. Though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, that is not one of it. The Lord is with us in everything, not just one of that. Wherever you go, may God your foundation period to do what he will do, to walk in your father's footstep. And finally, Galatians 5, 6. What did he say in the book of Galatians? Galatians 5, 6. Let's start from Galatians, uh, maybe from 4. Christ is become of no effect unto you. <laughs> Listen, while whosoever of you are justified by the law, if you face the things of this world, Christ is no more effective for you. If you did not change your ways from today, 
excuse me, is no longer effective for you. May we never fall from grace. May we never fall from grace of God. May that grace abide in every corner of this world and in all of us in Jesus' name. It says, if Christ is no longer effective for you, when you are beating your creature, strike. When you question his authority, it's no longer effective for you. May we never fall from grace to grass. Amen. And for five, for through the spirit wait of for the hope of righteousness by faith. We need to wait for the hope to be righteous by believing what we cannot say, hoping with things to come. Amen. And finally, Galatians 5 says, For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision or uncircumcision avails, but faith which walketh by love. Are we going to change our ways from today? Are we going to change our ways from today? I want to share something quickly with you, then we go into prayers. Go into 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. We're going in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And let me start from uh, maybe verse 4. Let's start from 1. Oh, it's so much. Do I speak, well, in terms of men and of angels and have no love? Even to your maker, your creator, who shed his blood for you and have no love? I am become a sounding brass, a thinking symbol, a bow of evil, <laughs> an empty barrel. <laughs> and though I have the gift of prophecy, you could have every power, like granted unto the old prophets and prophetesses of old. And understand all um, mysteries. You know Bible from Genesis 1 to the end of Revelation and knowledge and though i have all faith so that i could remove mountains you can come a mountain and he will he will fall flat before your face like he did before Zerubbabel. and have no charity you're nothing if you don't love you are nothing and though i bestow all goods to feed the poor huh. <laughs> in our world you put you put came in your right hand and you put food on your left hand, you ask the poor to come and eat. Ah, is it a must? You don't have to give. Give freely from the bottom of your heart to nurture the less fortunate. Or those who are not in authority with you, don't step on them, don't override, don't overrule, don't lie, don't use up their power like you are in the days of old. Look at Jezebel. Oh, don't let that spirit kind of spirit be in you. Don't let the spirit of her be in you because you are in a position of authority. He had the word of God this morning. In the same measure, he's coming back to haunt you. you. You've taken from people the less fortunate. Or you feed them the disgust, the fool you cannot feed your dog. Sandwich with maggot. And you say you're given to the poor. Hey, can you eat it? And don't give them leftovers. Remember the story, hey, of the rich man and Lazarus. Even the crumbs of the bread of Lazarus could not eat. The rich man reserve it for his dog. Are you one of those? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. If the Lord is for those you are oppressing, who can deliver you? Hmm. And charity is somewhere along and is kind. He doesn't sing his own praises. Ha, he doesn't rejoice in iniquities and the downfall of others. 
He beg our things. Charity, he never fails. Amen. May the Lord help us. In the name of Jesus. May we, may the Lord fix our lives. May we be ready to receive him. So that we will have a new life in Christ. We're going into prayers. Begin to thank God for this morning. Begin to pray. Begin to thank God for this morning. Everybody, begin to pray. Thank him. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me, praise his Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that's within me, praise his Lord. The Lord has done great things. He has done great things. The Lord has done great things. He has done great things. The Lord has done great things. He has done great things. Praise his Lord. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless him. Begin to pray that thank you, Father. Bless the name of the Most High God. Begin to pray. Father, I thank you. Oh, Lord, my God, I thank you. Oh, Lord, my God, I thank you. Oh, Lord, my God, I thank you. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. John 18.23 Destruct Jesus. I want you to pray. Where have you stepped on people? Where have you stepped on people? Like Adonijah stepped on the testimony of Solomon. If not for God that intervened with the prophet Nathaniel. If not for God and the cry of a mother. Hey! The mother cried to the prophet. Like people call on pastors, on reverends. Hey, help me! And if you do evil to those calling you from today, ah, your sin will catch up with you. Your sin will return back to you. And the Lord will deal with you based on the work of your hand. Say, Papa God, this morning, send me an angel, a true follower of Christ, that will not let me be misled in the spirit. That when I call to pray with me, they will not fire me an evil arrow. They will not want to dismantle me. They will not understand that I'm not my own. Just show your face in times of trouble. Ah, 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 ah. Huh. To all those that I need to help, but I, I add to their sorrow, may the Lord, God of Israel, deliver me. So that, uh, as a disciple, I will be a true witness to the things of heaven, a true follower of Christ. I will not know that do evil. I will desist, refrain from evil agenda, evil, evil activities from today in the name of Jesus. My foundation, straighten it, if it, even if it is wicked, even if it is not of yours. Today, you are spoken in the book of Proverbs 3, 6. I acknowledge you, my Father, my Lord and Savior. Direct my part and sort and direct my generations to come. In the name of Jesus, that they will thank you and will bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Revelation 1.5 how have you paid people doing you good? People who, out of love, they celebrating you? Do you ask them, oh, 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 what is the purpose for this? Do you pay evil for good? Do you step on people so you can rise? Hallelujah. <laughs> the same way you rise, this lot of gravity, you coming down from today. If you step on people, you take glory of people to shine. The same measure, the same way you went out, the same measure you're coming down. In the name of Jesus. It's not a cause. I don't need that did it. He stole the reign of Solomon. If not for the prayers of the saints, 
Do that prayer this morning. Is there anything? Enemy has stolen in your life, in your marriage, in your children, in yourself, in your business, in your job, in your existence. God of restoration, today is the day. May the Lord restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore my home. Restore my generations to come. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Because by his blood, he can restore. Why don't you serve that God this morning? Why don't you call upon him and never go back? I will never go back anymore. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. I say no, oh no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. I say no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. Amen. 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 I will never go back anymore. In the name of Jesus. Tell it to God to be your helper. My helper, oh, I help, oh. My helper, oh, I help, oh. There is something that makes me come into your presence. I help, oh. There is something that makes me Come into your presence, Ahila. Oh, now Matthew 89. Ask God to heal you. Everything that you have been doing that could cost you your salvation. Today is the day. Oh, you can't go back no more. You had me. I had myself. Father, pray that Father help you. Father, help me. My generation. Do not let them go back into the world and be the, doing the things of the world that can cause them their salvation. That is plugging our eyes. That is working, cutting our feet. That is, don't go where God is now is, where there is no God. Don't go there. Stop calling people that you think you trust, but they are not of God. Because if you have God, you will not send evil arrow to others calling you for help. To join them in prayers. By which authority are you doing this? Except it is for the good God, the owner of heaven and earth. You will stand. If it is, God doesn't do evil. If you are not of God, you will perish with your agenda and your evil agenda and authority. Like the horse is just out of love. Balaam should have been destroyed. Pray, Father. Do not let do things that are unacceptable to you. That will cause me my salvation, my healing in, in Jed, my new beginning in you. Pray in the name of Jesus. My only Rahiba, Father, I pray this morning. What is being deposited in me that is not of yours? Because you know, when we were young, in my village, they will they will say they are celebrating something. They will give you the feet of a, of a of a hen to eat, and they do ceremony, ceremonial ceremonial food. They fed you. Who knows what they've taken? Who knows what they've done? Except for the grace of God, we're living today, surviving every attack, every ceremonial food we've eaten. Tell them God to be your helper. Let there be a new beginning in you, in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Pray for the less fortunate all over the world, for them to have a new beginning too. Whatever has led us to where we are, may there be a new beginning. The whole world, every continent of the world. May we never hear about coronavirus, never again. No other strain of it should come back. Healing in every area and peace in every way in the, in the world. In the name of Jesus, as we surrender indeed to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, may his grace be sufficient in all we do in the name of Jesus. And finally, amen. For in Jesus Christ is now by circumcision 
or on circumcision. Whether you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, uh, whoever you are, everything that they work in you by faith and love of one another. May the Lord pray that that spirit should be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to ask God for his transformation by the blood. It translates. You become a new vessel if you are really translated by him. Amen. It becomes you will become a new testimony, a new witness from today. You remember what I said? Don't do no more evil. Don't be a donager of our era. You're stealing from people. You're taking their position. You're rejoicing with it. It cannot last. It cannot stand. You cannot stand for too long. Law of gravity. It goes up. What goes up? Shh. Must surely come down. Amen. La la. Every evil hand pray this morning. Every evil agenda fashion against you. In vain. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you touch, does the Lord has ordained not for you to touch? You are in soap from today. He's given you a chance to repent. And me too. You're a taskmaster. You give instruction without direction. Everywhere in the world, if you are in position of authority, ask God to lead you to be able to discharge your duty with the authority in you and wisely without stepping on others, without causing tears in the eyes of people. May the Lord help us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thou art worthy, thou art worthy, O Lord, worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure, they are. And when created, thou art worthy, Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are. And where created in Jesus name we pray Jesus name we pray Jesus name we pray amen don't forget what we discussed today I didn't direct nothing to anyone if you feel offended I am sorry you can control the spirit of God in me this is how I was led and let us change our ways for better days to come. And you will direct our path in Jesus' name. Join me next Sunday, 11 a.m. East Coast time in America. Central people, 10 a.m. Mountainous people, join me, 9 a.m. And if you are coming from West Coast, the Pacific time, that will be 11 minus 8. Excuse me. <laughs> Eleven minus three. Don't don't listen carefully. Eleven minus three. Join me at eight in the morning. People in West Africa plus five. Join me at four p.m. your time. You should come in from East Africa plus seven. Join me at six p.m. Amen. If you come in like Reverend Revenstein, I salute you, sir. God bless you, sir. From Asia at eleven. Join me at ten p.m. And you can stay with me to do a night vigil too. And those people in Asia, they are blessed because the Lord has spoken, no more coronavirus shall kill nobody no more. He silent it in Jesus' name. And he will perfect that continent again and again 
in Jesus' name. And to every viewer, you will live a new beginning from today. Join me on YouTube if you can. And you are blessed. Share this video to deliver a soul. And let your soul be delivered by God. No man can deliver another man except by his authority. Amen. Thank you for coming. And we we'll do it again next Sunday. Bye now. Join me on YouTube if you can. Bye-bye.